Vážení posluchači, vážení realitní makléři, ve spolupráci s Remax Academy jsme pro vás připravili demo verzi jednoho z nejlepších realitních školení na trhu Business by Design Tom Ferry. Vychutejte si to. Jdem na to. Welcome back to session two of Business by Design. Today, we're going to talk about the power of right focus and ultimately, how do you become an appointment setting machine over the phone. Before we jump into that, let's do a quick recap from last week's session. We talked about setting up your business plan and knowing exactly how much money you want to earn in the next 12 months And lastly, getting clear on the number of people you need to speak to every day in order to guarantee your success. And do you remember that little quote? Are you interested or committed to your success? I'm going to assume that you're absolutely committed to having this year be your best year ever and real estate being your career for life. Now, with all of that coaching aside, let's talk about becoming an appointment setting machine and the power of right focus. A few years back, I was walking into an office in San Diego, California, and there I was meeting with two or three of my personal coaching clients, agents just like you, that I was able to help grow from 10 or 15 sales to 70, 80, even 100 sales a year, making a lot of money selling real estate. And as I was about to walk out of this office, a young gal walked up, tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, Coach Tom Ferry, do you got a minute? And I said, sure, and we introduced ourselves. Her name was Iris, and she had just moved into that marketplace, and she was asking for some advice. Specifically, she wanted to know if there was one thing you'd ask me to do to become successful in a new market, essentially like a brand new agent, what would you recommend? And I stopped and I grabbed a piece of paper and I actually wrote out a little bullseye, something just like this. And I said to her, Iris, every human being has the ability to have one dominant thought every single day. And the challenge that you and I face in this business is there's so many distractions, so many things to do, so much going on both in our business life and our personal life that the challenge is we usually get dominated by doing the wrong things every single day. Now, I'm sure there's at least one of you watching right now that can relate to your life taking control of the activities you do in your real estate business. I know what's happened to you, I know what's happened to me. What I shared with Iris that day is, again, if you could only have one dominant thought every single day, one thing you were gonna focus on every single day to build your business, I know exactly what it would be. When I asked her, of course she said things like prospecting and doing open houses and knocking on doors and getting to know the market. And I said, all of that sounds great, but would you like to know what the very best real estate professionals from around the world focus on every day? Of course she said, coach, tell me what I have to do. I said, it's very simple. Whatever you focus on expands. Whatever you focus on expands. And then I showed her this ring and I said, what we know is we want to hit the bullseye. We want to be where the money is. That's the goal, but that's the effect. What are the natural causes that would get us there? And then I showed her the outside ring and I said, unfortunately, Iris, too many people allow drama and distractions to gobble up their time and to gobble up their focus every single day. And the challenge is, if drama and distractions are controlling your day, you simply never earn the money you deserve. She said, Tom, I understand, and I've certainly dealt with those issues. She said, 
but I don't know if that's the one for me. I said, well, what we also know is the vast majority of real estate agents like yourself spend a tremendous amount of time getting organized. You know, I've got to get the mailer right. I've got to write the email. How do I say it? Should I organize my database? There's so many projects that you can be involved in every single day. The challenge is you can put yourself out of business working on the projects if you don't spend enough time doing what matters most, which is ultimately talking with customers. When I said this to her, she immediately said, oh, I know what you mean. I've got to talk to more people. I've got to get on the phone. And I said, Iris, that's interesting because the next inner circle happens to be the words making contacts. But here's the challenge. You might know someone, as I do, that talks to a lot of people but never sells any houses. They always seem to be engaging with prospects. Some of them are doing open houses, knocking on doors, making phone calls, being active and social with their past clients and their sphere of influence, but they never seem to make sales. Well, see, it's very simple. The human mind can only have one dominant thought at a time. So if I'm thinking about making contacts, what I do is I make contacts. You've seen it. I get one, two, three, four, five chicken scratches on a piece of paper and I say, well, I talked to five people today. I did my job. The challenge is, again, I'm going to keep reiterating. When you think about making contacts, you get contacts. Well, Iris immediately said, Tom, I've done that. I'm guilty. I've been in sales before. She says, but no, no, no. I want leads. I want like opportunities. And I said, Iris, you're smart, but look, leads is the next inner circle. But here's the challenge. If all I focus on is leads, guess what? Everyone around the world is interested in housing. Everybody wants to rent something new, buy something new, and maybe sell a property. Everybody's interested in the value of homes, in the value of property, and what's going to happen in the marketplace. Around the world, every country, people are interested in houses, which makes everyone you talk to a potential lead. But you and I both know not every lead wants to go to the next level and ultimately do business with you. So what I said to Iris is, unfortunately, leads have no value. Leads are just possibilities. They're people that might do something. I said, Iris, what's the next level from leads? And she kind of scratched her head and she finally said, I think I know. And I immediately wrote it down and said, appointments, appointments. Write this in your notes. The true success indicator, the true success indicator of a healthy real estate business is the number of appointments you have every single week. When Iris understood that thought, she said, so you're saying like the only success indicator, the true success indicator of a healthy real estate business is the number of appointments you have, like that's it? And I said, Iris, let me explain. I know agents around the world. Some of them have tremendous skills. They are beautiful with their language. They've got so much charisma and so much talent. And I know others that quite honestly have no personality, no charisma and no talent. And when I look at the only reason that those agents become wildly successful, whether they have no charisma or lots of charisma like you, it's simply how many appointments they go on. Think about it. If you wake up on Monday morning and you open up your calendar on your phone or in your day planner and you look and say, I've got a showing appointment Monday at 10. I've got a potential listing appointment Monday at five. I've got a for sale by owner preview I'm talking to on Tuesday. If you look at your calendar and it is full of appointments, let me tell you what happens. You start the day with passion, excitement, purpose, and focus. But what happens when you wake up and look at your calendar and it is empty? Well, what we know is when you look at that calendar and there's no appointments, the natural tendency is to ask yourself, what should I do? What do I need to do? Which unfortunately is normal for people, but in this business, it's the kiss of death. The question of what do I need to do actually leads you back to getting organized. And you and I both know you can never be organized enough in this business. I know plenty of agents that are wildly disorganized, but because they're able to set so many appointments, 
they get the bullseye, which is lots of closed transactions and the money that they ultimately deserve. So what's the major point? If you want to have a massive breakthrough in your business and you want to truly have your business be by design and earn the money you deserve, we've got to become focused on appointments every single day. Booking appointments and going on appointments, that's the name of the game. Well, with Iris, because you know I was friendly and knew people inside that company, I said to Iris, here's my personal email. Ahoj a díky, že jsi to doposlouchal až sem. Ve spolupráci s Remax Academy pro tebe máme připraveny stovky vzdělávacích materiálů, díky kterým budeš nejlepší na trhu, utečeš konkurenci, budeš vydělávat násobně víc jak makléři z jiných sítí, takže pokud chceš být ten nejlepší, poslání jasné, přidej se k nám, přidej se k Remaxu, přidej, přidej se k Deluxu. Deluxu. Čau.